Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the PlayStation Livecast. I hope you've been tuning in. We've had a lot of great segments. I'm very excited for this one. We're talking about Mighty Number no. 9 with Nick Yu from Comcept. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. So the first thing I want to point out is Nick's awesome shirt. Can we, can we see this <laughs> shirt? Look at that. There you go. Got a nice, cool design of a Beck there. That's very cool. Yeah, Nicely this done. is only for the team members, and I think I only have 15 of them. Oh, existing wow. so in the how world? long do I need to work on the game before I can get one of those shirts? Let's say two years. Oh, okay, well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's talk about Mighty Number no. 9. Get, so you guys, uh, this was a huge success story for Kickstarter. Um, uh, when you guys put it up there, you asked for, I think, $900,000. Ended up 90, raising $4 million. Yeah. That's insane. That is insane. I mean, just seeing those numbers go up, like, uh, you know, within the one hour, two hours mark, is just crazy, crazy, <laughs> crazy right. What was, what was the vibe at Comcept just watching this Kickstarter? Was there, was there I, can, I can only imagine it must have been just electric. You know, I think uh, at that time we were at uh, Seattle you know, at PAX, uh, and I just keep getting you know, live feed from the, uh, from the <laughs> team member back in Japan saying, you know what, we hit this goal, we hit this goal, and the numbers just keep going up and stuff. <laughs> and throughout the whole month, I think every one of us had the Kickstarter page on their computer all the time. <laughs> And just seeing the numbers go up by that, it was just crazy seeing that happen. Awesome. So yeah, I mean, you guys asked, you, you, you got four times as much money mm -hmm. as what, what you initially asked for. What does that mean for Mighty Number no. 9? How is the game going to be different as a result of that? Uh, actually, by, uh, at the beginning of our campaign, we only have about half of the stretch goal, but, uh, you know, the total stretch goals. So as we go along, you know, the backers or the community keep asking for you know, new things or new content or even you know, new consoles port for it. So we're like, you know what? These guys are asking for all, the, all this stuff. Let's, let's try and make it happen. Oh, cool. So we actually had you know, 10 or 11 hours meeting within the Kickstarter team and just trying to figure out how can we make this happen. And by the end, we have most of double, the double of the stretch goals we actually planned. So crazy stuff. Excellent. So uh, Mighty Number no. 9 helmed by none other than Keiji Inafune. Uh, one of the forefathers of this 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 genre, the side-scrolling shooter genre, um, he's been doing this for some time. How is Comcept taking that experience, that level of knowledge and skill, and uh, kind of shaping it to create something new and different with Mighty Number no. Nine? Actually, you know, this this whole whole, whole concept, you know, came up from you know himself, and you know, the actual genre it's always been his passion to to make. And you know, once uh, we got the, this whole uh, idea about using Kickstarter to start a new project, you know, he immediately thought, you know what, let's do a you know, 2D side score game with this. And uh, I'll gather some team members that I think it will be perfect for this project. And then, you know, Nick, handle it. So it was, you know, really crazy to hear about that. And we just made it happen somehow. Cool. So uh, obviously, uh, KG Inafune, legendary in, in the industry and in the genre. Um, but uh, as a result of the Kickstarter, did that influence his, his, uh, his thought process when putting the game together? Uh, I don't think so, because he has been always you know, thinking about making a game with the fans together. And this is, for him, it's pretty much like dream come true. Yeah. And you know, he's the kind of guy who you know, always saying, you know, keep your concept and keep that clear. So you can always, when you get you know, confused or you know, the opinion gets split, you can always come, to, come back to that. And in this case, he is the one keeping the concept clear and straightforward. So there's, there's almost like no confusion or nothing along the way to, uh, of the, in making this game. So you know, that's what happened. So uh, we actually have some gameplay on the screen here. We're watching Mighty Number no. 9 in action here. Can you uh, just kind of show me what we're seeing here? I see some, uh, some cool dash moves and all that. Uh, what, what, what are we seeing? Okay, so basically uh, this, in this game, uh, we, it's, you know, we can summarize the game by saying you know, it's a 2D side score game, you know, classical style. But uh, with this game, we added a new feature called Absorption Dash. Hmm, okay. Well, what exactly it is, it, uh, people, uh, you know, players can hurt the enemy a couple, uh, a couple times, and the enemies will become unstable. When uh, that happens, you can dash towards them, absorb their power, and sort of like defeating them really quickly. So with this future, the gameplay, the overall gameplay is really fast-paced, you know, uh, it's really speedy, so to say. And that's exactly what uh, Inafune wanted for this game to be, you know, fast-paced, 
speedy and smooth gameplay. But if you want, you can still play like the old, old style, you know, stay away from the enemy, shoot, the, shoot until they're defeated style. So it's really up to the players. But the fast gameplay is what we wanted to make. You can uh, play it safe, but then yes. you won't get the high combo counters nope. and all that. So does that, how does that uh, influence the gameplay, getting all these points? Uh, by, by the end of the, each stage, you will get a results screen and it will show you every single, every single thing you did in the, in the stage. So how many enemies you absorbed, what's your percentage of absorption, average percentage, uh, okay. and how many times you got hit, what's the damage point it's like. So we will just add everything up by the end and it will give you a grade. Uh, from something for the hardcore players. Sometimes, something for the hardcore players. And you know what, this game is great for speed run, speed run as well. Oh, okay. We actually have a time set up there, so it will see how, many, uh, how much time it needed to beat the stage. Yeah, hardcore players what, with this type of game, with this genre, uh, they, they're, you do end up seeing a lot of uh, speed runs, mm -hmm. uh, trying to do no death runs, right. all that stuff. Actually, we have something perfect for the no death run. Yeah. There is a difficulty called Maniac. You oh, can boy. only get that one by beating the normal difficulty. But what it is, is basically, you get one shot hit, you're dead. Oh, that's oh it. My Any goodness, kind really? of damage will, is instant death. Nick, so why? <laughs> why are you doing this to me, man? Like what you said, you know, no death run. You know, this is perfect. It's so clear. You die. You get one shot. You died. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we talked a lot about uh, the game. You guys also are working on an animated series, right? Yes. How is that gonna work? Well, it's um, we haven't announced anything. On, you know, until this point, I, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure people are kind of warning, wondering about that. Uh, but, you know, at this point, I can't really say much uh, about okay, it. Okay. But let me say this, it's actually going on. There's something going on with that side. Huh. So, you know, hopefully soon enough, we can say something about that project as well. Okay, cool. I'd like to talk about the, uh, the weapons and abilities that you'll get as well. Um, I'm not sure how much you guys have revealed or are revealing, but uh, we're getting to a point, we're getting kind of cl close to launch. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can uh, uh, drop some little hints. Tell right. me what some of the weapons do. So basically we have eight bosses uh, for, uh, sorry, one bosses for each stage and we have eight stages. And by defeating them, uh, you can absorb their powers. And, you know, you don't just use those powers against different bosses, but you actually use them within the stage. And there's, there are sometimes there are, you know, puzzles okay. that you have to solve by using the different abilities. And you know, defeating bosses in this game it's not me it doesn't mean that you kill the boss. You actually save them and oh. brought them back to their same uh, self. I see. So once you defeat the boss, and depends on which one you defeat first, they will come into a different stage and actually help you out. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So it's more more than just uh, you know using bosses' weapons yes. against each other. It actually is going to influence gameplay. Yes, definitely. Huh. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the music in this game. The music. Sounds pretty cool. Give me, give me a rundown. Who's, who's working on this? So the music, uh, most of the music are made by uh, Matsumai-san. She is actually one of the, uh, the original member of Mega Man 1. Oh, really? And we also have uh, Tatechi-san, who, who has worked on Mega Man 2 soundtracks. Wow. So we have two of these uh, you know, famous uh, composers and also Yamada-san from Inti Creates, who has been working on you know, countless action game musics. We have three of these great composers working on this game. So you, you can just you know, feel safe oh, and feel comfortable wait. hearing some of the awesome wait. music. I'm kind and of a nerd actually, for video game music, yes, so... <laughs> we actually have this one feature called the uh, sound testing. If oh, you okay. can remember those from the old Nintendo days, you can you know, test out the uh, sound in the, within the game or the, uh, all the soundtracks in the option menu. We also have that in here. Are you actually calling it a sound test? Yes. Yes, that's so old school. I love it. So uh, yeah, you guys are coming out soon. September, right? September 15th for North America and September 18th for worldwide. And it's coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation, PlayStation 3, 3, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation Vita. It's coming up a little later because it's not just porting. We actually have to rebuild again uh, okay. for, uh, for Vita. OK, cool. And that's all going to be cross by, right? That's right. Fantastic. So you Cross buy it once, you get it, get it Everything. on three platforms. Yeah, love it. Uh, cool, so we're almost out of time for our segment here, but uh, is there anything that you want to say to PlayStation fans out there? You know, I think the fans have been supporting this game, you know, really great, and we, we cannot say enough thank you to the fans. And, uh, you know, I think, I think we're, you know, uh, confident to say that this game turned out to be great. We are really confident. I think people will love it, and uh, I just cannot wait for it, have you guys to play the game and let us know what you think. So cool. thank you for all the support. Nick, thank you very much for thank joining you. us.
ステンション。